I went down to the school entrance, changed my shoes, then unlocked the door and stepped outside. Felt the fresh air on my skin. I saw the lights from the police cars. I feel all the policemen looking at me. As soon as I was in the schoolyard, a little voice tried to tempt me. It's free from Renna now. If I ran off the school grounds, I'd be free. What was I thinking? If I did something like that, Renna would go crazy and who knows what else she'd do. The important thing here wasn't my safety, it was to make sure that Renna didn't kill anyone. I saw a big man coming towards me from the school gate. It was probably Oishi-san. Wow, we don't know each other yet. Oh my god. I didn't even realize, dude. This is like a new character to Keiji. Kurachan I tried to hand the scrapbooks to Oishi, but he stepped aside a little. Used as to what he was doing, I changed my position and handed them to him again. He took them at that time, and at that point, Oishi put something that was under his jacket into my pocket. I couldn't look into my pocket because I didn't want Rena to suspect anything, but whatever it was, it was pretty heavy for its size. I just followed his directions. I was worried if Rena had begun to suspect something. When I looked at the classroom, she wasn't peeking through a crack, but that didn't mean she wasn't peeking out through a crack. I went back to the entrance and locked the door. If Renna checked and found the door unlocked, it could cause more trouble. Renna was in the classroom. There's no way she would come down this way. Gosh darn it, it's going to last so long, this last chapter, dude. If she was alone. She left the classroom. Everyone to get up and run. They couldn't run because Renna was there, but they were all waiting for their chance. The entrance then was Renna's blind spot. I chained my shoes. I quickly removed what she had put in my pocket. There's a radio? An earpiece? Something else that looked like a short police baton? There's also a folded piece of paper. I opened up the piece of paper and saw a note written in small print. Here may Barakun. Please hide the bug in your pocket. It picks up even a low voice so you can use it to get in touch with me. By using the earphone, you can hear me in return. There's also a spray for self-protection. It sprays as far as one meter. Make sure you aim for the face. This must be the spray. I guess it's safe to try it here. I held down the button and gas sprayed out from the nozzle. Compared to Rena's hatchet, this required some caution, but it was small enough to fit inside of my hand. It was reassuring that I could hide it so easily. In other words, it would be it would be possible now for me to stop Rena. As I realized all my classmates' fates rested on my shoulders, I felt sweat form on my face. The memo continued. The spray is just for self-defensive purposes. Pepper spray only impairs eyesight, and while it makes your enemy Powerless due to extreme pain and coughing for 30, at least 30 minutes, it's not powerful enough to render them unconscious. Therefore, please don't forget that there is a possibility that your enemy may fight back desperately in a panic. The spray is your last resort. Please don't depend on it, but if you need to, make sure to use it. Weishi. Is he telling me to use it or not? <laughs> it was probably one of those growing up issues. If the cops entrusted me solely with the fate of hostages and I failed, they'd be li held liable. So while he gave me a weapon, he made me consider its use. I hid the bug and spray in my pockets and went back to the classroom. I felt a little dizzy, maybe because I was nervous. I was simply following Rena's orders because he had no other choice. That was why I wasn't scared. But things were different from before. I had a weapon. I was in a far better position, but my heart was pounding. Demons are so strange. Shit. What am I gonna do? What should I do, Keiji Mebara? Do they want to fight with Rena? Mama said the spray only reaches as far as one meter. One meter? That was basically a hand-to-hand -hand battle. That meant I only had one opportunity. I didn't have a second chance. The memo also said I need to aim for her face. That wasn't going to be easy. Shit. Besides, Rena was cautious. How could I stand directly in front of her within one meter? 
That's what I'd have to do if I had, a, had any chance of winning. Rena would do anything to reach her goal. She wouldn't even hesitate to kill. Just like how I didn't. Of course, things were already extremely serious. An apology definitely wouldn't be enough. But at least there hadn't been any casualties. As the, the more time passed, the more irritated Rena would get. She might be demand something again, and she might kill someone that time to show how serious she was. Bad things have already taken place, but a tragedy hadn't occurred yet. Hmm. The tragedy is about to occur. It was almost here. Uh, I wasn't there far at all. I closed my eyes. I could easily picture Rena killing one classmate after another. After I killed Rena and Mian, my room was covered in blood. If she killed 20 people, the classroom would be a pool of it. If that happened, Rena would... She still wouldn't realize that she was being delusional. She would rip out her own throat and die. That would be too big a cross for her to carry. And one more day, she would remember and be saddened. She didn't need to go through with that. I didn't want Rena to go through what I had to go through. Shit. About dizzy. This is a very long hallway. I didn't know the classroom was so far. With each step I took, my determination to fight Rena became stronger. Rena would be shocked to realize I betrayed her. But if she couldn't wake up from the nightmare on her, on her own, someone would have to wake her up. She needed her friends to be the ones to do that. Okay. This ball reminded me of a gas station. Oh, she she lit everybody with gas and she has matches. I saw a red gasoline container by Dude, she totally has fucking matches. Dude, what the fuck did I say, dude? Seemingly sturdy and made of metal. With gasoline on the side written in felt marker. She must have spread it across the entire classroom. The smell was almost giving me a headache. No, it wasn't just in the classroom. Classmates were soaked in gasoline, too. How could she? I see. This was just like a hadjacker holding a bomb. If the police were to rush in, she'd burn the hostages. I didn't know where she got it, but she had a lighter in her left hand. She skipped right past matches. She has a lighter. Dude. You can't tell me I didn't call this, dude. Granted, she's just... Well, I mean, she's going to burn down the school? もちろんやらないよ。万が一の時の保険、私だって大好きなみんなだから冗談で済んでほしいって思ってる。I but human skin is supposed to be very delicate, and they say that even if 30% of a person's skin gets burned, it's enough to be fatal. If it was your entire body, that would result in instant death for sure. I had been put in a disadvantageous position. My weapon might take Rena's sight, but I couldn't do anything to stop her from using the lighter. She'd probably use it the moment she's attacked. I didn't know if she realized it, but that's the kind of lighter... But the kind of lighter she had would keep burning until the lid was closed. Therefore, all she would have to do was light it and drop it onto the floor. In other words, my spray can wouldn't make Rena powerless at all. The last resort we she had given or gave me had already lost all its power. But you have a bug. But now you have a bug, so now they know exactly what's going on, right? あのスクラップ帳だけで翻訳書ってのは、お尻の重いところだそうだからね。あ、ウェネ徐々に無害になっていったのでもそれではそれが雛見沢誤差だから彼らはあの was simply telling everyone what she heard from Takano-san. I started mumbling so I could let her she sound as good know what's going on. すごい匂いだ。ガソリンをポリタンク丸々ぶちまけると。
すごいもんだ。Wish I could say it louder, but that was impossible. I wasn't sure if Oishi san could hear me. Hmm. I thought the idea. I thought of an idea to find out whether or not they could hear me. Kuruma no kuraksho. Kikitai na. Kumonja, kuraksho ipats. Gasolin to a. Mai. Kore de. Saki kara nan. Tabun. Kono ato no yokyu o shito osu tameno kiri. Kumonja. Futsu no akai ko ga. Poli tank ute i kata o shita ra. So. Tabun. Komiyama kun. エリン書の人、まだ返してないですよね。ちょっと呼んでもらいます。なるほどね。灯油のポリタンクにも、灯油とちゃんと書いてある。はい。中身を間違えたら大変ですから。すべての燃料容器にはちゃんと明記してあります。ガスリンはカメラで十分にファンブル、and it can be lit even with static electricity。therefore ガスリン must be kept in special metal containers。Those are called carrying cans. じゃあ前原さんがガソリンって言ったのは巻き蛍光管は何リットルのサイズのがあったんですか18リットル用5リットル用って多分平たい形をしたやつええ真っ赤で平たくて前原圭一はポリタン18リットルの方でしょうかあるいは見慣れない形だったでもどのみち本当にガソリンだとしたらかなり危険なことになります What's even bigger threat than liquid gasoline are the fumes. When gasoline fumes are lit on fire, they explode. Also, gasoline evaporates easily. Even at freezing temperatures, it evas evaporates. So, in other words, inside the closed classroom, the fumes would fill the entire space. The classroom would, become, would then become a bomb itself. Yeah. Why are you asking questions, a w i s h i Just say something. a w i s h i s like quizzing his team. This is not the time. 18 liter to 5 liter of the time. Okay, so he's just trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, so he's just trying to figure out what's going on. But. So, that's it. Ah, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Oh, oh. 犯人に直接リーチ一発振り込みドカーンってところじゃのう。裏までのっちゃって大変なことになってた。裏のドアは終わった。そのドカンってなったところですみません。危険物の第四種はお持ちで。おつよんか？<笑>ここにいる人間全員足せばどうした？ガソリンでもまい。まさにそ人質の一人に盗聴器を持たせてるんですがどうも犯人は教室内にガソリンをまいただまいた量が What does it matter? 両方のケースのですね教室の広さはえっと大体ご室内は密閉かおそらくさぞやガソリン臭いだろうとおいしいやっぱり教室は粉々に吹っ飛ぶぜ So, yeah, you had to get a little bit of a bite. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I don't think it matters what size can of gasoline that you have. At least my continued listening on their conversations on the side won't pay. Eight by eight meters means meant that a room was sixty four square meters. Only four liters are needed to blow that up, and at least five liters were scattered in a 50 square meter room. つまりお釣りが来る。いやなり。じゃあ聞きたくはないんですが。いやそうだの。おいしふに例えると、親のリーチ一発ピンフトを赤赤ドラドラに振り込む感じかの。Oh, okay, okay, I understand. They they said those because those are um Mahong pieces. Got it. I didn't get it until then. We are no by man. Niman, Yuns, high Q Genting, and Niman was sent in the car. Sent him born a hippon no good. So, yeah, free comitak and I reach the na. So, I'm probably going to split this up if, if you haven't seen this already、um, or haven't seen me split it up already. <laughs> Because I, I don't want to end it and then have another episode, but I. I, I don't know how long this is gonna go, so if it does go longer, then I'll, I'll just split it. 
消防の指示を仰ぐ必要があるぞいまあいっかなこいつは盗聴情報なんで消防車を呼び出せたらバレちまうななんとか学校から見えないところに待機させましょうそれがいいのあとそれから多いしねえさっき人質の一人と接しその際にこそガソリンサンプはそれではまずいの科学火災の事例で発火原因に電子機器のランプガソリンの発火点は300度程度火花は愚か静電気でも着火して爆発する冗談じゃないな,なんだってそんな危険な液体が<笑>知るか消防法と自動車社会を作った連中に言え6月だからのそう空気も乾燥しとらんとは思うがとにかく万が一おいさん盗聴器で聞く限り犯人はライターを所持している模様ですってことはつまり前原さんがスプレーを使って静止しようとしてもしかも盗聴器まで使えなくなんてこったおいしライターはまずいぞ冗談でもいじらせてはならん犯人もガソリンの危険性を認量を聞く限りとても知識があるとは思えんぞ Bushi's back was covered with a cold sweat He never thought it would turn into such a serious matter He didn't know how dangerous gasoline was He didn't know because he'd never heard of cars exploding in car accidents What? What? Gasoline is more dangerous when it evaporates, therefore, a burning car in an accident and gasoline fumes being ignited are at completely different levels. It's quite possible to understand, or it's quite simple to understand if you think about how car engines work. What? Cars evaporize? Why do I need this? In other words, that little tiny explosion in the engine will give the car's power to move. Therefore, if you want more power, the engine needs to be bigger to create a bigger explosion. So if an engine cylinder was. The size of a classroom, how much power would it need to create? Anyone with knowledge of engines should know, but a lot of people don't consider how、uh, dangerous evaporated gasoline is because it's too familiar. 25 hostages, and one hostage later, all 26 people were basically stuck in a huge bomb. Furthermore, the suspect might have accidentally, or might accidentally set it off. If she were to pretend to use the light as, to light the lighter as a threat, that would be equally the, or that would end, that would be the end. Gosh darn, I can't read. All the people around Oishi had gone pale. The classroom might explode at any moment. How could they save all the, host or the hostages? Especially when the criminal was living in her own delusion and her request for something so unreal. Pulled a piece of paper. Oishi opened it while the others watched. Saw a girlish handwriting on the paper. He could tell this was written before she invaded the school. Dear Uishi sama, if you are reading this letter, that means I'm at the final stage. I have seized the school and held the students as hostages. I am planning to appoint you as a negotiator, so please pretend to be threatened by me and become my contact with the outside. The first thing I want to tell you is that my enemy is the Sonazaki family, and also the aliens who are pretending to be parasites that control the Sonazaki family. Uchujin? I didn't think you'd believe me if I brought up the aliens, so I didn't tell you、uh, about them until now. But when you read these scrapbooks, you will understand. Aliens came to Earth in UFOs in the ancient times. They invaded、uh, the land of Nonagafuchi Swamp. They used this village as their breeding grounds, and through that selective breeding, they wild, widened their domain. They were successful, and now they're trying to invade the Earth. All the other policemen frowned at the letter. Yeah, yeah. Takano no Hoka no scrap chomo yomi mashta. Kojin tekinu a oshi ga omoshiro katta na. Sonazaki family, as well as the village authorities, have been brainwashed by the aliens. The villagers' attempts to retrieve the cult of Oyashiro sama were actually part of the alien strategy to invade the earth. The aliens are very clever. They don't let people realize they're being controlled. The EDA clinic must be their secret research center. Please conduct an investigation and expose their secret. Also, please check out the bottom of the swamp. The UFO must still be there. Must be there still.、Uh, also, capture all the relatives of the three families and take x rays of their brains. To find hideous parasites inside them. Please be careful. The aliens eliminate whoever finds out about them by replacing their host with a lookalike. That's how they've been controlling the village. 
Therefore, there might already be some aliens among the villagers. It is possible they will try to interfere with your investigation. As a matter of fact, they have lookalikes of Mio Takano, Rika Furude, and me, Rena Ryugu. If you see any of those three, capture them immediately. That will be proof the aliens existing among us. ああ、どうしてでしょうね。ああ。検視結果のミスの話。それで私、祭りの日には死んでたはずなのに、それをこういうふざけ半分で落としすぎたかな。自分の名前が含まれてる鏡に映ったのでも見間違えたとか。the policeman spoke up. He was one of the pair who searched the garbage dump that night. これは俺。ほら、リュウグレナを探し回ったば、ゴムナでも目撃されたって話。あれだよ。あれは多分裏人の誰かが流した出馬なんだ。で、それを本人がどこかで聞いて、自分がもう一人いる。くそ、ノスト
かけた時刻に自動的に<笑>確かにそれを流用すればキッチンタイマーってあたりが女の子っぽくて電力会社にコード式なら電力ああ教室が真っ暗になるのと同時にライターをつけるに決まった、うん、やっぱり解毒剤の線を指向性ですよ多分自身に使う前に人質に注意してください了解です手配しますあと前原さんともう一度話したいなリュウグーレナが間違ってライターをいじらないようにあと盗聴器もオフにさせないといけません盗聴器はどう面白いことは拾いましたか犯人が人質に危害なんとど,どうもその崎ミオンに対してのようですややめろレナレナ kept hitting ミオン who had her hands tied behind her back レナ wasn't using her fist but instead the back of the handle of her hatchet ケイキ君はそこの壁から動,動いたらレナも怒るんだからねレナ's gaze intimidated me her eyes were full of madness I could tell レナ's emotions boiling over on the inside I opposed her, she would easily cut me at Mian's arm off. Tonica, what she got your sena cutta cotoa. Me chunga stai wo horida shinjitata. Shinjitata goni! Rana hit Mian's face over and over. It wasn't just Mian's hands that were tied behind her, it was her neck and also tied her little frame with a bike lock. So there was no way that Mian could protect her face. I didn't know if her forehead was cut or her nose was bleeding, but her face was covered in blood. Her blood got on the handle of the hatchet each time she got hit with it, the more blood was smeared on her face. The handle of the hatchet could easily smash her forehead. Because of the position in the Sodosaki family, Mian couldn't say that she hid the body, so all, so all she could do was endure. However, Rena continued to attack her. Rena no longer had any restraint. She might even continue until Mian's front teeth were broken. <laughs> ほんとのことを話すからレナ本当のことを話すからレナ本当のことを話すからレナ本当のことを話すからレナ本当のことを話すからレナ本当のことを話すからレナ本当のことを話すからレナ本当のことを話すからレナ本当のことを話すからレナ
I know you're sad because your friend betrayed you, right? But that's a misunderstanding. We didn't betray you. We've been thinking about you all this time. But you just couldn't see that. Even if she died, Rena probably wouldn't realize she had made a terrible mistake. But someday, you'll realize. Even an insensitive guy like me realized. So Rena would realize it for sure. And that's when you'll feel sadder, Rena. Or even sadder. You will remember this bloody me on one day. Then you'll realize that you were the one who made her become or made her bloody, and you will regret what you did. But I was the only one who could understand that, because I remembered. There was no way for Rena to understand or to realize that. I wondered if I was suffering the most of all. There was no way to avoid tragedy. This was exactly the same tragedy different actors. The main character was Rena instead of me, but it was the same thing. Where was I? I was in the audience now. I knew how the story ended, but I couldn't come onto the stage. I up slowly and walked towards Rena. Looks like Rena had done with me with my arms open. Rena's eyes went cold and she lifted the hatchet in her right hand. Yeah, told me, but with such a bloody face, how could she be? She sounded gentle, but her expression was telling me that she, there really would be no hesitation. Renner would crack my head open with the hatchet immediately. But who cares? Yeah, that's another thing, right? Is like if you know that there's different worlds, like it almost becomes like you're in God mode now. Like you could just like, oh, there's gonna be another one anyway. Granted, if it's an entire lifetime that restarts, I don't know. I don't know how it works, so I don't know. <laughs> no, I know you're strong enough to give up your own life for the sake of your friend. It's my turn now. My turn to be strong. レナ Rena lifted the lighter over her head. Bagayo,てめえ、いつまで夢を見てんだ。自分でも分かってんだろ。悪い夢だって。誰かに騙してほしいだから俺が来た。俺が騙しに来たんだ。Rian opened the lid of the lighter. I could tell her thumb was about to light it. Rena was prepared to die along with everyone else. Rena would die without knowing the truth. She would die believing it was the world that was crazy. She would die cursing everything in this world. That was the storyline of this tragedy, wasn't it? It was a theater from hell. What an interesting script. Who wrote it? A devil? Ha! Gosh darn it, dude. <laughs> like a, a self-deprecating jab at himself, this writer man. Won't let this happen. Don't underestimate Keiichi Meibara, the original main character. Don't think the same storyline will work again. I'll be taking over the script this time, and I'm going to destroy it. 
I won't let this bad ending take place. I'm going to destroy their expectations. それは絶対に それがどれほど罪深いことかに気づきもせずにそれがどんなに悲しいことか全然何を言ってるのかは大丈夫なのケイチ君ああそう何を言ってるかで何を言っても話してやるある大馬鹿野郎の話を聞くあるところに前原
コンセントに刺して動くタイプの教室内のコンセントに何か刺さっていませんか There's one outlet in the back and another in the front of the classroom. I checked, but I didn't see anything that was plugged in. Yeah. 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 If I'd stay here, I'd die in 15 minutes. This wasn't the time to be pessimistic. It's probably my last chance to stop this tragedy from taking place. She spread the gasoline while I went to deliver the scrapbooks, so she must have done it in a fairly short of time. I really didn't think she had enough time to spread it anywhere else other than the classroom. Then where was the time bomb? あ、いや、一つ。なんでしょう。大石の親父に言っとよくも人の古傷をレナに話し、もし俺が生きてここを出られたら、ぶん殴ってやるか。2発殴るぜ。俺のことをレナに喋った分と。レナのことを了解。大
あとは機動隊にま機動隊って大高危険は重々症だがもう爆発まで時間がない君が時間を浪費しその尻拭いを君らは引き継いで方法に下がりたまえ Couldn't talk back if both the chief and the guy from the prefectural headquarters gave me an order. Boy, sir, old Takakun. Hm, Bessie, Majang, so you wakes and you king at the Taka, Saratoma Aregana. Kendo Taika de Raso in Stiagatagara, Menkrawas de Shishin Sastano, Nen, Oiskum, Genzai no Saisin no Joko, Setsme Stamai, Anta, Cocha. もうすぐ睡眠薬で穏便に決着がつけられそれをひっくり返す機会もうあと1時間あったらその突入は府警の専門部隊が担当する君はバックアップに回りたまえ<笑>所長あんた分かってますよねあの教室は今や巨大な爆弾だが一番恐ろしい爆弾は教室じゃない犯人のリュウグウレナ本人我々はようやくそれをなだめ穏便に時間は確かにもう10分もないでも必ず成功交渉は私が見ダメなら私が粉々に振った首相たちは離れてするおいしか府警の専門部隊はただの機動隊じゃないぞ第二機動隊といえば君ほどの男なら噂くらいきなんすかおいさん第二機動隊って有名なんですか5年くらい前だっけ空港のあれをきっかけに東京と大阪にハイジャック専門<笑>実在してもでも、なんだって不敬の機動隊がこんなところにオサカたまたま、県警機動隊との交流か特別に応援を要する、ね、話をすぐ派手にしたがるそのくせは。カプリンメンバーズエグゼディビエクルズ、アフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォンアフォン安心し突入班が使うのはボート鎮圧用のガス銃高圧ガスで催涙ガスを何の問題もないへえそりゃ便利な水鉄砲がところでそのおもちゃは校庭を横断して教室まで届くほど便利なものなんでそれは君があとは我々に任せて下がりたまえ Lift my arms exaggerately exaggeratedly exaggeratedly For some reason, that sounds weird to me. One elbow accidentally touched the car, which did, did that on purpose. Now, 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 ライターを試してみます。おい、さあ、繋がりました。もしもし、お、聞こえてたら、近況の話があります。聞いてください。どうせ悪い話だろ。悔しいですが、県警が介入してきて、午前立てを特殊部隊が校舎に。おいおい、
then I'm going to make you pick your popcorn up on the floor. I'll have you know I haven't eaten a single piece of popcorn this entire time. I spoke to Rena as she continued with her story about the aliens. What? What happened, Keiji? No, Quietly. She became totally paranoid about everything. When she became worried, she couldn't ignore it. Really? Keiji-kun? Ah, I didn't think it was wrong. <sighs> Knew she'd want to check it herself, but she really couldn't leave the room for something like that. So in that case, she'd have to ask. She'd have to ask me to check for her. Rena must have been thinking the same thing. Keiji-kun, see it. Big smile on her lips. Ah, I got it. Rena watched me go out into the hallway. As it did, she spoke to me. Rena, I'm sorry. Shin Yoshiro, I'm Rena's friend. Yes. I'm sorry. After being freed from Rena, I looked for a cord in a hurry. I didn't even have five minutes. The office probably had more outlets than anywhere else. I headed for the teacher's office. Shit, where are the outlets? Unlike the light switches, outlets couldn't always be found near entrances. Damn it. Why did the clock in the teacher's office have to make such a loud ticking noise? I saw a plug inserted to a unit under the principal's desk. I also saw a cord extending from the door to the reception room. There shouldn't have been any reason why a cord had been extended into that room. The reception room had an outlet of its own. I tiptoed over to the reception room and opened the door. Squeak. The door squeaked as I cracked it open a little. I poked my head inside the reception room. I saw a suspicious cord crossing the room and extending under the door to the hallway. I followed the cord through the reception room. I opened the door to the hallway and the cord ex was extending into the storage closet. The storage closet was used to hold cleaning chemicals. I could smell them from here. The cord was extending into there. I carefully opened the door and turned the light on. The cord was attached to another extension cord. And there was an alarm clock that didn't belong in there. You <laughs> Time bomb. All I'd have to do was unplug the cord. I picked up the alarm clock. It looked like a normal alarm clock. Actually, it was a normal alarm clock. I remembered Kuma guy calling it a kitchen timer. He said it was a bit like an alarm clock. But this wasn't a bit like an alarm clock. It was an alarm clock. Wait. Didn't alarm clocks use batteries? Battery operated one, too. I looked at the extension cord, and there was... Nothing plugged into it. It's a trap! Why was this extending all the way from the teacher's office? It was a trap all along! That was interesting, though. I was on board with that. I was like, oh, well, he's totally going to find it. You know, he's going to get it. He's going to unplug it. But then Ren is going to be like, find him after he unplugs it. And like, that's how they're going to then they're going to storm in and then like take her down while she's out of the classroom. Right. But that didn't happen. <laughs> oh. Oh. The noise is all the cells in my body were frozen. This was Rena's trap. Rena was suspicious of everyone, including me. This whole time, she thought there was someone connected to the people outside. This was a trap to lure that person out. Only the people outside knew about the time bomb. I was told about the whole thing, and so I followed the extension cord and picked up the alarm clock. How stupid of me. So was there no alarm all along? Yo, okay, okay. There was no alarm all along. Dude, that is insane. That's awesome. <laughs> Painful, but it didn't kill me. This time she was holding the hatchet the right way. It wouldn't just crack my forehead, it would split my entire head open. And I lifted the hatches menacingly, moved slowly as if everything was in slow motion. She looked almost divine. 
Maybe it really was holy. I was praying after all. Praying? What was I praying for? I was praying for my life. <laughs> This music. 